Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple light up acrylic sign with a dimmer and power switch for under $5. In fact this one cost me just under $3 to make. You're going to need some basic DIY tools and a 3D printer, but if you don't have a 3D printer you can also make use of an online printing service to print the components for you and ship them to your door. The sign is powered by a CR2032 coin battery which can easily be replaced by removing the bottom cover, which is held in place with two screws. The battery tray is part of the 3D printed housing to keep the cost down. Start out by making your acrylic sign. You need to cut a piece of 3mm thick acrylic, 60mm wide and a slot on the bottom for the LED. The height you can then customise to fit your logo or the text you'd like to display. You can print out the templates provided through the link in the video description as a guide. I've used two sizes in this example, one which is 50mm high and one which is 80mm high. The easiest way to cut and engrave the acrylic is with a laser cutter. If you don't have access to one, there are a number of online services which will cut and engrave the acrylic for you. To keep the cost down, you can also cut the acrylic yourself using a simple hacksaw or bandsaw and engrave the logo by tracing out the text using a sharpie and then engraving it with a dremel. Once your acrylic sign is done, you can start working on the base. You'll need to 3D print two plastic components. I printed these out using black PLA with a 15% infill. You can make the base any colour you'd like to match your theme or brand colours. Next we'll assemble the electronic components. It's a simple LED dimmer circuit with a 22k resistor across the LED and a 10k pot to control the brightness. It's connected to a power switch to turn the LED on and off, and the leads then feed into the battery tray in the housing, so you don't need to buy a separate battery holder. Once the circuit is complete, test it by holding the positive and negative wires onto the battery terminals and turning the switch on. If it all works properly, then install the components into the housing. They are already cut out in place in the housing for the switch and the pot. I put a drop of hot melt glue onto the inside of the switch and over the LED to keep them in place. The pot is held in place with a nut on the outside. Now place the battery into the battery holder with the negative lead touching the bottom of the battery. Then place the positive lead over the top of the battery. Once you're happy that all the components are secure and functioning, close up the bottom cover and secure it with two screws. Lastly, push the acrylic sign into the base. It should be a snug fit so you don't need to glue it, and this way you can easily swap it out if you like. I have two different size signs which can be swapped out as needed. I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck making your own acrylic signs. Let me know what you've made them for in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.